Because, you see, this is a little issue. Nowadays, especially nowadays, there are a lot of people, or there are some people, not a, some, mashallah, Allah knows that. They love or they like to hear what pleases them. What? They like to hear what pleases them. But whether it's from Quran or Sunnah, if it doesn't please them, they don't like it, they don't like you, and they don't like what you say. You know, that's like the government. If a government tells you, go ahead, expand your homes, everybody will be expanding. Patios and verandas and extra rooms and converting the garage. Yeah, man. But if the government says, I'm going to tax you now, well, everybody mad. Everybody mad. So you want nice roads, you want nice bridges, but you don't want to pay the taxes and the tolls. So we love to hear when a government passed a budget, this is going to be what you now be able to do. Wow, we love that. On the other hand, they say, taxes will go up a little bit. Well, I ain't voting for that person because he raised tax. But you want to come to America, enjoy the nice roads. Do you know why some other countries don't have nice roads and nice bridges? <laughs> Because they don't charge nice taxes. Or maybe they charge nice taxes and the politician put it in their pockets. See the point? But you cannot want to get the nice roads and the build the extra homes and sell your house and make money and then worry about having to pay the taxes. It doesn't go like that. But that's how it works also in the Quran. A lot of us love to hear verses that, ah, nice boy, good. But when Allah says, do this, and we don't like it, well, we're angry. Don't do that, we're angry. But that's a sign of weak iman. That's a sign of weak iman. 